name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God, our Father, and the love of the Lord Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you always. And with your spirit. Today we join the church throughout the world in celebrating the solemnity of St. Joseph. One of the two times in this Lenten season where we step out of the Lenten liturgical cycle to honor a solemnity. St. Joseph, the patron of the Universal Church, the patron of husbands and fathers, the patrons of carpenters and laborers, the patron saint of our neighbors to the north in Canada, our neighbors to the south in Mexico, the patron of the Brothers of Holy Cross. At this time when you cannot come to us, we are making every effort to come to you. And we will, as we go forward, attempt to provide a mass for you via our parish website and perhaps other means of social media and communication. We ask you to join us vicariously in this prayer as we pray for the unity of the church, for peace and healing throughout our world. And so, brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sin as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of David. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the heir and the fulfillment of the hopes of Abraham. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins and lead us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in the highest and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginning you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Thank you, speed it up. in the caravan, they journeyed for a day 
and look for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down to them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The world in which we live is filled with sufferings that cause anxiety. But let us invoke St. Joseph, and we shall be protected. In all our trials, let us go to Joseph. In hearing these words, it could very well be Father Ed speaking to the St. Rachel and Our Lady of the Valley community in exile during these difficult days of, uh, of crises in our world, in our nation, certainly within our local community. These are not my words. They are the words of Blessed Basil Moreau, the founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross, through his meditations. And it seems that in every time, in every era, there is cause for suffering and anxiety. And essentially, he say that we need to be rooted in our faith. Ultimately, Blessed Basil Moreau is acknowledging the fact that as Catholics, we're team players. And the team is not just those here present, and by the way, we are under the number of 10, or those who are viewing from a distance in their homes, on their phones or their computers, but speaking to a broader family. We as Catholics also rely on the communion of saints to assist us in our own lives of discipleship. And while we use the term incorrectly to say, I pray to St. Joseph, we basically are asking St. Joseph to pray with and for us, and not only Joseph, but all of the saints. The quintessential model for that comes to us through the Hail Mary. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And so we invoke the communion of saints, and in particular St. Joseph, the patron of the universal church, to pray with us today, to pray for us today, to help us to deal with the sufferings and the anxiety that face the world situation right now. From ancient times, even through the Old Testament, the clarion call of go to Joseph was echoed. After Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery, the other Joseph, the son of uh, Israel, the son of Jacob, when he was sold into slavery and during the time of famine, all the world was coming to Egypt for food because Joseph was doling it out, providing for the needs of others. His own brothers eventually came and once they had recognized him, went back to their father to bring their youngest brother. And indeed, Jacob, his father, said, go to Joseph. And that clarion call of going to Joseph has echoed through the generations to this very day. And this Saint Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, the uh, husband of Mary, as a Holy Cross religious, this is one of our major feasts, the Feast of St. Joseph. Blessed Basil Moreau chose St. Joseph to be the particular patron of our brothers of Holy Cross. And um, at the head of the line of the brothers of Holy Cross is St. Andre Vicente, our first canonized saint, whose devotion to St. Joseph began when he was very young. At the age of 12, he was orphaned. And 
not having the parental uh, uh, presence that so many of us rely upon, basically turned to St. Joseph to be his father as well. A great devotion led him eventually to enter the congregation of Holy Cross, uh, where he served as a porter at our, our school in Montreal, a school that continues to operate. People came to Joe, to uh, Andre, to ask for prayer and intercession and, and, and assistance. And he would always say, go to Joseph, invoke St. Joseph, and God's healing will work through St. Joseph. And it did, it did in a wonderful way. By the time of Brother Andre's death at the age of 91, million, a million people came in the harsh winter weather uh, in uh, early January to mourn his passing in what was now the Crypt Church of St. Joseph's Oratory in Montreal. The world's largest shrine in honor of St. Joseph would continue to be operated by the Congregation of Holy Cross to greet pilgrims and visitors from around the world. St. Joseph's Oratory, like St. Rachel Church and Our Lady of the Valley Church and so many other churches throughout our country and world are right now closed to public worship. In our gospel today, we saw that uh, uh, at Jesus, when he went with his family up into Jerusalem for, this, for the Passover, that uh, he stayed behind. And in staying behind, uh, caused great anxiety and suffering for his parents, because he was going about his father's will. His parents returned to Jerusalem and searched for him for three days, eventually finding him in the temple. I'm glad they weren't looking for him today, because the temple would be closed. And indeed, there is that sense of being connected to the holy places, our temples, our churches, our places of worship. And even though in these days we are not able to be physically present, we will make every effort to be present to you, not only through this liturgy, but also through our other opportunities to as a family stay spiritually anchored and connected to your broader Catholic community. This is a good time to invoke the intercession of St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, protector of families, uh, as we uh, try, to, try to navigate these uncharted waters. Because in Joseph, we do find a worthy intercessor these are uncharted times for our Catholic community and for the world as well. And so we do need to remember that we're team players. We stand together as the Christian community, we stand together as the human community, and we stand together with the communion of saints with whom we find intercessors to guide us along uncharted waters and days of fear and anxiety. In all of our needs, let us go to Joseph. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit 
was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. As St. Joseph, the protector of the Universal Church, may God, our Catholic family, Pope Francis, our bishops, all of our faithful, that we might strive to seek unity in the body of Christ. And for all Christians, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That St. Joseph, the patron of fathers and husbands, may guard the leaders of our families and make of them compassionate ministers and caregivers for their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And this year, which marks the 200th anniversary of the founding of the Brothers of St. Joseph, the precursor to the Brothers of Holy Cross, let us pray for an increased vocations to the consecrated life as Holy Cross Brothers. Let us pray for Holy Cross priests, brothers, and sisters in the round the world, and in especially for those engaged in the ministry of St. Joseph's Oratory in Montreal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our world community, especially through medicine and science, may work collaboratively to find a response to the coronavirus and for the health and well-being of the entire world community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have asked for our prayer, especially the sick and the suffering, and those who are in special need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Josephine Risk, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us face our personal prayers and petitions before the God who calls us to love one another. For the needs of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of abundant love, through the intercession of St. Joseph, hear the prayer of your people. Keep us always united in faith and in love and in our care for one another. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the will of the soul and church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And on the solemnity of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten Son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving th you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
And giving you thanks, he sent the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with his spirit. spirit. Laugh with God. You take, you take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God. God. You, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God. God. You, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy. That you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let's pray. Defend with 
unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray. The family you have nourished with food from this salt, as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This was obviously a baby voyage for us in an attempt to bring the Mass to you via these means of communication. And hopefully with time, if there are any glitches, we'll work them out. But nonetheless, we ask that you share this good news with those you know among family and friends. To all, let them know that we will have the opportunity for Mass via our parish website. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Are you presented? Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.